Some, there's some big shakeup in the first episode, obviously. You lose a partner, and you think you're going to go home. How, I mean, you were very, I thought you were very generous with the, no, you have to go and take care of this. But how much in the back of your mind did you say, oh, my God, now I'm screwed? Um, honestly, whether Naomi stayed or didn't stay, I, or, like, and I wasn't going to get a new partner, I don't. I didn't see us going past the first week. No way. So, I mean, at that point, I knew I was going to be done after a week. So, maybe if there's a chance for me to get a new partner, that's going to be better than Naomi. So, okay. that's what was basically in the back of my head. I'm like, you know, this sucks that I might go home, mm -hmm. but I will take that chance because otherwise I'm just going to be here for the week anyway. So, I might as well like cross my fingers and hope I get a better partner. And how much of that was because you didn't think you would mesh well physically yeah, or like you just didn't get along? I'm... Um, not so much getting along. I mean, I knew that Naomi was just going to do whatever I told her to do and be okay with that. Uh, but it was just, there are th certain things that she physically cannot do. We're just such a mix match with athleticism. I mean, she's shorter, I'm taller. I just couldn't see any challenge going in our favor. Okay. Now, I mean, you guys left on what I thought was good terms. Was it just TV good terms, or do you guys actually no longer consider yourself rivals? Uh, I mean, we, I don't know, we kind of grew up after our season on Real World. We just let time pass, and I mean, we'll never be best buddies, but um, we definitely have a genuine care for each other, and you know, every once in a while we'll ping each other and be like, hey, how's it going? So it's, you know, we went through that experience and we grew from it and you can't take that back. You can't change it. So mm -hmm. if anything, it just, you know, got us to a better place. Okay. Now talking about the replacement, how, how, I mean, you come into a house where you know it's rivals and you're paired up with someone who you've gotten into fights with, but it's not like knock down, drag out, I'm going to kill you in your sleep fights. Yeah. And you assume that there isn't really a whole lot of people out there that could be considered your rival. So who did you think was going to walk in the house when they said you're getting a new partner? I mean, I knew that I wasn't going to be Heather Martyr because I just knew she was kind of done with the whole challenge scene. And I, you know, was happy with that. I didn't really want her to come there just because, you know, we did have some bad blood and that would have been just a whole nother level. Um, and, but the other person that I kept talking about, like while we were in the house, I'm like, oh, if it's Car, like I kind of came to these challenges, uh, like seeing Car Maria on TV and she used to talk shit on me on Twitter and I'm like, you go through the same experience, you see, you know, how things get edited, and you're going to come at me, like, you don't even know me, that's so messed up. So I came on these challenges, like, I'm going to gun it out for this girl, and she's not going to know where it's coming from, just because, like, the way she did that to me. And, of course, you know, we see what happens. Do you feel like it's a good physical match, though? Like, do you feel like you guys can go pretty far? Oh, yeah, I mean, she is so lean, she's, like, 7% body fat. I mean, for a partner, she would be a really good choice, just because... She at least looks athletic, so I'm mm. sure she has to have something in her, so. How much did the twist of the voting change your personal gameplay? Like, once you realized that, like, you could kind of play the guys to get them to keep you? I mean, I kind of knew we were just screwed the whole oh. time. Because okay. <laughs> being a rookie, it was like, we're an easy target. I've not, I mean, I'm friends or seen these people outside the show, or, but it's just nothing's, you know, they're going to still pick the people that they've been doing this for with you know, for the last few years over me, so. And that, I mean, that being said then, like, what goes through your head when you say, oh yeah, I want to sign up for a challenge, like, what made you say yes? Um, well, I always wanted to be on a challenge. I grew up watching it. I wanted to be on the challenge before I wanted to be on Real World, so for me, like, I play soccer and I watch it and it's, like, athletic base and I'm like, I want to prove myself. I want to show people, like, how far soccer players can go and that I can do this stuff and, you know, it, screw the politics, screw this, I will find a way. Okay. And obviously this is Rivals 2 and for Rivals 1 and Rivals 2 it was same sex rivals. If they do a Rivals 3 and it's opposite sex and you can have a guy as your partner because of the fights you've gotten into, who do you think your partner would be? Um, well, if Dustin were to do a challenge, maybe Dustin, because, okay. you know, he's, him and Heather are kind of connected together. I mean, together. he's done challenges, so. Yeah, they kind of have a whole thing that if I do a challenge, Dustin won't do a challenge, oh. so. So you guys talk before this even. No, I don't talk. They hear if I'm, like, signing up for a challenge, okay. and they're like, all right, no, you can't do it. So, otherwise, I might have been on Battle of the Seasons. So hmm. There was a little drama there. Okay. Uh, but, yeah.
I think maybe you left but out being be on this partner. one, though. No? I think this might have been a better choice. I don't know. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I was okay with it. But, I mean, I mean, if you had a Vegas cast with Dustin, Nani, me, and Leroy, I'm pretty sure we you know, would have yeah. been able to put up a fight to San Diego.